That's what we like to see at the stars. Well done. DRS is now available. Place back. Gap 
Tactic car in front is 1.8 seconds. That looked bad. Are you all right? Let me know you're all right. That's too bad. So this is going to be important for the championship next time, having a great time.
leave for Cub. Let's do this. Let's get some points. Lucky on warm softs versus Rafa on fresh mediums. This is going to be interesting. Passes in the pits. Mikey Moose is standing right on Rafa's tail. And El Diego's got past ice. Whoa! That's some tight stuff. Looks like he's got it here. Ice Man is sitting tight on the inside to defend. And Diego's through to 50. Couple of good stops out of the front. Cubs coming out on fresh tires, which puts Sikuri into the lead on his well worn softs. He's taking him 11 laps. He's got to be close to his pit stop soon. The next person behind him is Diego, so big, big gap there. He'll be up comfortably ahead.
was furious into the pits, couldn't come back into the pit. stick close to Mega Man. He's into DRS range. You know, Cosmo's right on Brad. He's getting past him so soon, Raffle maybe even have a chance to take him back. That's close. Trunks passed at Sergio Dan. I'm fairly comfortable with that. Mega Man's in a struggle now. Nick the Quick went right on his back with a bit of a rough exit, but not as rough as the one I had on my last lap. Well, that's a warning for Cub. I should say a penalty for Cub. They're on ESA. into the pits. That was like a moose through. I'm Dan. He's right there. Go for the inside. Is he gonna break late? Up the inside. Looks like he's got that inside line for the next one. A little bit of contact. 
and also should then hold on to the position. The Lucky Moose does have the younger tires here. Oh, oh, that's a tricky moment, but Lucky has to hit the brakes. is open. Elsewhere, Nick is right on the back of Mega Man. That's why for Bucky, unfortunately. He's back on uh, back on Dan. Is there gonna be a lunch? Nope. No lunch here. Oh. And as I look away, Nick the Quick is through on Mega Man. Going into the Ascari. Let's pit stop for Diego. As he goes on to softs, that should be able to see him to the end of the race. Mega Man get a run back on Nick the Quick. Doesn't have a lot of ERS to spend here, but let's see what he can do. Nick holds the outside line. Mega Man locks up. Nick might get the return here if he can get a better launch, and he does. Lucky Moose, passing El Susio Dan, and he's also deep into the chicane, but he's able to block a good accelerating line, and it looks like Lucky's going to be through here. Robar, right on the back of Tron, but not enough to get right up to him now. Just get a little bit more of a gap. Lucky Miss is going to pull outside of Dan's DRS range, and it's going to be free to chase down Grey J. He sipped through on Sadu, and we've got a yellow flag. Well, Dan loses a lot of Ascari, and with that, Lucky Moose is way out on his own. Dan is out. Dan is out of it. And that makes it three DNFs for this race. I mean, I agree with you, but I can also see the other perspective, so... Yeah. They're, they're in it for the competition, not necessarily just for the driving, I guess. Nothing to win, though. So. <laughs> yeah, it's all, in your, it's all in your mind. Yeah, exactly. Oh, raw. He's eating some gravel. Oh, 
Hello there, fellas. Hey, what's up, Chaos? Ah, uh, not too much. A little sad about my first retirement of the season, but that happens sometimes. <laughs> hey, man, I feel you. I had my first retirement on Monday, so... It be yeah, well. it. it be like that sometimes. I got to drop into your stream for about 30 seconds. Yeah? Yeah, just uh, just coming oh, and going. Mean, like, literally, like, today or on Monday? On, uh, on Monday. Oh, no. <laughs> Uh, yeah. It's a bit rough. So, uh, I guess, tell us what happened. I didn't actually see... We didn't. I don't think we got the footage of what happened with you, but... Okay, well, uh, whole race in a nutshell. I had a little bit of a, of a scrappy lunge uh, into the first corner, uh, but I think most of us came out of that cleanly, but we'll have to review that later. Uh, and then I was uh, defending, had a couple of duels with Bino, and uh, then I braked a little bit too late into the second chicane and had to go through the escape road, lost a couple of positions. And then Lucky, who'd lost a bunch of places early on, uh, was chasing me down. And uh, on lap three in the uh, second Lesmo, I had just a little bit too much uh, power going out of the corner. And I went off on the inside of the track and hit the wall. It was a kind of mild contact, but it was enough to break the wheel off, and that was it. Well, I am sorry to see it. Eh, you know, it happens. It happens. Most likely, this would not have been a points race, seeing that, you know, the guys I'm normally around are chilling out in, you know, 13th place. Yeah, I was, I was telling Red earlier that I feel like this track is probably the track that people have played the most in this game. Oh, like almost certainly, yeah. The experience level with this track is just off the charts. So, I feel, uh, yeah, it's a bit intimidating, because this is my first, this is only my, like, third month playing this game, so. Ooh, Diego and Robar into the first corner, and Robar is around. He tried to lunge back and take it. Oh, raw, he's just doing donuts. Oh, that's a oh, reset. Re we won't wait. cut the video. Cut the video. Uh, Don't well, I'm uh, I I'd have to I'd have to delete my whole video now. I don't think that's necessarily <laughs> going to make much of a difference, but yeah, I'm not supposed to be doing that anymore. Yeah. That'll be ten seconds onto his race time. Although I shouldn't speak since I'm a steward and we're supposed to discuss that and speak unanimously. But on the plus side for Robar, being a lap down, he's now got an extra lap of fuel that he can burn. So, who knows, he might be able to chase down oh, Diego, sure. who's been having a pretty rough race of his own. So Curry actually just spun out as well. And that first chicane. Man, he's crazy. Makes me feel better, though. <laughs> is, that, is that mean? Makes me feel uh, better that even the best people, uh, you know, no one, no one can hit it perfect every time. So I consider Sakuri to be one of the most consistent. He seems to be, at least. Mm -hmm, yeah. Yeah, he, he's a great driver. Yeah, he's not, I don't think he's as fast as Cub, because Cub's just fucking so esports level, but he's consistent as hell. Yeah, and Nick and Cub, they, they are, they are the fastest driver. Yeah. So, dude, make him move on Ecent here. Yeah, he's not gonna get it. It's too late. He bails out of it, he, but Ecent had to break late to defend. He might get the run here. Nope, Ecent has a good positioning. Doesn't let a Sudo through, but he might make another one coming in. Ugh, I have that super annoying bug where, like, the rate limiter on the throttle is just, like, hitting the fuck, or the rev limiter is, like, Topping out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's an annoying one. I can't even watch it, it's so annoying. Still, uh, Sudud versus Isim, definitely the closest battle that we've got right now. And pretty much no more strategy decisions to be made here. So this is just a yeah. straight race to the end at this point. 
Yeah, I think the the only other thing is off the track, but Mega could definitely pull P3 if he can stay within that three second window with Nick. And he's been doing very good at that, although he's just fallen outside of DRS range. And that is yeah, exactly what Nick needs if he wants to secure third. Uh, you know, Nick has a bit of a buffer over Cub in the championship, but you know, losing the points from uh, from third to fourth is going to be pretty painful if he has to. Yeah. What is it? 25, 18, then. 25, four? 18, 15, 12, 10, and then two down to two, and then just one for tenth. Oh, that's a yellow flag. Ooh, what do we got? Someone spun out in the first chicane. It's Grey J. Uh, oh my god, he just turtled Wait. back onto the track there. Well, Grey J had such a big gap on Lucky Moose there that it's not going to mean too much for him. Although Lucky Moose could yeah. conceivably catch him now. He's on the mediums, Grey J's on the hards, and Lucky's mediums are only 11 laps in, so they've still got a bit of life in them. Mega is just able to keep with Nick. Mega, he must be running just super, super low wing. Uh, yeah, I was running some practice races with him. And that's exactly it, Rara. He's, uh, he's running a super high tell. speed setup. Yeah, I think, uh, Sakuri, you can tell, is running a pretty, like, pretty high arrow. Like, he's. Yeah, he, he is. He loses a ton of time on the trades. Unfortunately, he hasn't uh, oh, been that's able to lock up the Mega. Chicanes. I know, that was probably a warning there, too. Uh, it Had could be. have been. Who do we got? Eason. No. Oh, wait, no, Iceman, Iceman. Yeah, and Diego's through to 14th. Iceman's given up. Yeah. <laughs> he's just gonna take it into the wall here. I don't know what he's doing. Very fortunate that the blue flag's ghost now. Oh, yeah, he's heading into the pits. Oh, Mega is just barely hanging on. Barely. 1.8 seconds. With no ERS. It's gonna be really close. Nick's got not that much more ERS. Didn't have a great first turn there. So Maybe Iceman Mega might be out. going for a fastest lap, but he doesn't have a lap to do it. The race is going to be over before he can get a full lap out. Let's see. I'll double check oh. on the time penalties to see how the Sadu Isim game is uh, going. Mega is losing uh, a lot of uh, time. Uh, I don't know what happened. Yeah, he's Was already in the three second window five? there. Yeah. Man, that's just hard to take. As soon as he lost that DRS, he, he just lost so much time. P4 is a good result, though. For Man, sure. I think. I think Astadude, he so badly wants to take Eason, but I don't think he's going to do it. He does have quite a bit of ERS. Oh, he might have it. He might have Eason's it. Eason's planted right, right in the middle. So they're around the outside. Oh my god, they're going to go side to side here. It's so He's got so much ERS left. Oh, oh we still got another lap. They're so far behind Cub that I literally thought that was the last lap. Oh, man. Oh, oh a little bit of contact. Oh. He, he made the move. He did. He had... He, that's the last lap shenanigans, you know. You just got to expect it. Well, Isim's not going to take that lying down. He's coming back on the side, dude, here. Tied up the oh, inside. Oh, what a move. 
he gonna give? He is, but he's gonna fight back. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, that's some racing right there. They both have six second penalty, so yep. go for it. And you can tell Esimp wants that good exit. Didn't quite get it though. Critically, Esimp is going to have the DRS for both this and the final. Oh, recharging for Sudu. Oh, he, he should have gone Decent for it. Backs up. Well, sometimes discretion is the better part of Valor, but in that case, he lost too much time to be able to get a run on him in the last corner. I think that secures it for a sudden, yeah. unless he makes a big mistake for the uh, final corner here. Man. That's some good racing, though. That was good. Oh, oh a little <laughs> bit of a lateral drift That's there for Yeah. What's up, Tuna? Finished. Alright, so we got Gulf D1. Yeah. He, Alpha looked like he could keep up with the big dog, but Cub just stamped him out after a while. Alright, give us a roll call, Red. So, Cub in P1, and it's a great P1. 4.5 seconds before P2 Alpha. Nick in P3. Mega Man in P4. Great race for Mega Man. Rafa P5. Plasma Raider with a, I think 9 seconds on penalty. He went from 4 to 6. So it's great. What's and crazy about that is he started in P12. So yeah. he still got driver of the day. Yeah. He gained 7 he, positions. A really great driver for Plasma tonight. Crazy. And Big Tuna is say is saying yo in the chat. Yo. What's up? Alright, who else? Plasma P6. We got Acid oh, yeah. Acid P7. Seven. E sent P8. Yep, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Oh. <laughs> Sukuri in P9. Bobino started P12, but uh, he finished P10. So good. Uh, Grey J at P11. Lucky Moose P12. Tron in 13th place. Diego 14. Rawbar 15. And Iceman in 16. Two other ones didn't finish. Dark Whip and Chaos. Hey. Sorry for that, Chaos. It happens. Iceman got the fastest lap at 121.1. But he didn't finish. Am I right? Or well, maybe he finished. He did, yeah, he did finish. He was yeah. the last one to finish? Maybe second to last? What a race!